Hello and welcome everyone to this session and uh, in this session we will learn about SharePoint. What is SharePoint and how to access it? So SharePoint is nothing, it's just uh, basically a part of Office 365 bundle and it's a collaborative platform wherein you can upload your official content and can share the official content with your uh, vendors and uh, that is the sharing will be done in a, uh, in a very secure manner so that the content will remain secure which is the extreme priority of any organization that is why SharePoint has been widely accepted by most of the organization present around the world so uh, without further ado let's see how to access the SharePoint so this is the URL just uh, type in portal.office.com this is uh, the Office 365 portal wherein we will get the SharePoint application. So first of all, uh, you need to enter your uh, official account and uh, the password to access your Office 365 portal. So this is one of my test uh, credentials. So I am using this from a long time. So I will be logging in through, through this uh, credentials. Okay. I've selected my username. My password is already registered. I'll click on sign in. So this, uh, I'll just quickly accept the request. Okay, so I have approved it. So I will be logging to my Office 365 portal. Okay, so this is the Office 365 portal wherein you have all the application at one place. So application means that uh, when you take an Office 365 bundle, you get multiple applications like OneDrive, you get Teams, you get uh, online office applications like Word, PowerPoint and you also get Power Automate, Power BI and so many things um, are there and uh, the most important thing is admin centers. Like being an admin, it is very important uh, to have the admin rights available with you so that whenever any uh, admin task comes in, so you can perform those tasks. So we will see how to access the SharePoint first. So now accessing SharePoint can be done in two ways. You can access the SharePoint admin center by being an admin and also you can access the SharePoint by just being a user. So firstly we will see that uh, how to access the SharePoint if you are an administrator. So when you are an administrator on the left hand side you can clearly see there is an admin tile over here so we need to access the admin center first so we will see how to access it so when you click on this admin tile it opens up the platform or it's open up it open a new tab wherein all the uh, admin centers are available like exchange azure teams and uh, your uh, security and compliance portal so there are multiple portals available and uh, we'll see the here okay if you see on the left hand side you can see all of the admin center available here and if you want to see more admin centers what you can do is you can just click on this all admin center so once you click on all the admin center it will show you all the admin centers which is available for you now uh, since this is a SharePoint uh, uh, session, so we will access the SharePoint admin center first. Okay, so how to access it? Just click on the SharePoint admin center. So it will open up the SharePoint admin center. Okay, and this, if you notice that on the left hand side, okay, you have all the settings available. This is basically a modern admin center. Previously, the admin center was something different. Okay, so that center, uh, admin center, has been deprecated, and this is the new center, which comes up now. And on the, if you click on more features, these are all the features available. This was all there in the previous admin center. Okay, so now you can see that the classic, uh, the classic admin center has already been deprecated. This is the new admin center. However all the feature which was there in the previous admin center we can see all the set, uh, settings here okay so this is how you access the sharepoint by being an administrator if you are an administrator how you can access it okay 
so in the next in the next uh, session we will see how you access the sharepoint if you are a normal user okay so we'll see you in the next session till then happy learning bye